Here we go. Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, bringing you a Grand Solar Minimum Update Saturday, December 8th, 10 p.m. Mountain Time, 2018. You're looking at epic footage from Volcano YT. Popo got the pedal exploding after last night's update. Probably 18 hours ago. Lava raining down the flanks. Amazing footage as cosmic rays increase and the world goes round. Scenes like this will become more frequent. And they are continuously fantastic. Have you heard? 12 out of 13 scientists agree. Global warming is a hoax. Yes. We all know that. Let's check out Texas. They're complaining about our ad blocker. And we're complaining about their footage. From dry and brown to a white winter wonderland in a narrow strip of West Texas, this transformation taking place while most of us were sleeping. West Texas transforming to snow. Some parts of Texas seeing record snow falling. And if this video parses, this meteorologist will confirm it. In the Lubbock area with measurements of over nine inches of snow by the National Weather Service. Over nine inches of snow by the National Weather Service. There. Wow. In Plainview, Texas. For that weather. is a bunch of bull. <laughs> no, it isn't. That's the truth. Nine inches of snow in Lubbock. And they're Lubbocking it. Winter storm brings rain, snow, and havoc across the USA. More bad weather on the way. They're rhyming. They must be watching. Is that insane? Snow drifts in North Carolina. Icy roads in Oklahoma. Submerged cars in Houston. And chicks running over flooded signs. A heavy bout of rain and winter weather is pummeling parts of the U.S. And more severe winter weather is on the way. Hey, hey. Threatening a wide swath of the country from the Carolinas to Texas. Texas already got its bite. Right in the arse. The same winter storm that dumped heavy rains on L.A. last week caused mud slows and ash slides and other things is expected to unleash heavy snow and ice this weekend. And right now, while I'm bloviating, as it tracks from the southern plains to the southeast, widespread power outages, delayed and canceled flights, dangerous roads are expected. Proper prior planning prevents piss-poor performance. I warned you, governors in Virginia and North Carolina have declared emergencies ahead of the anticipated storm. Some are downplaying it, and they will, yes, they will regret their words. It's certainly not unprecedented. Now, we're going to be hearing this a lot tonight because this is the way they're downplaying it. It's, it's not unprecedented because it's global warming and all, but... Meteorologist at AccuWeather was paid to announce because many other sources are using the word it's certainly not unprecedented. But I assure you, when the storm is over, the totals will be unprecedented. Winter Storm Diego American Airlines cancels nearly 1,000 flights. <laughs> yeah, this is after 1,000 flights have already been canceled today. In scenes eerily reminiscent of the deadly floods following Hurricane Harvey last year, motorists crossed Houston abandoned cars and had been submerged by high-rising floodwaters on Saturday. Many of our subscribers were emailing me about up to upwards of five inches of rain falling today. At least two cars were abandoned near downtown the Memorial Drive overpass to Houston Avenue. More than a dozen cars stalled in high water in West Belfort near U.S. Highway 59. And here we can see a Kentucky Department of Transportation vehicle spraying toxic radioactive frac fluid directly onto the highway, which is yours and my way of traveling. Roll up the windows. Lubbock got blanketed in more than nine inches of snow, draping much of the North Texas city in white. What a sight. Snow is coming into an end at the city of Lubbock. 10.5 inches in some areas. 
Texans, be on alert about weather the next few days. There could be flooding and even snow and ice depending on where you are. Governor Greg Albert said on Twitter Friday, heed local warning. Stay safe. Appalachian Power, headquartered in Charleston, West Virginia, began moving crews from Indiana, Ohio, and Michigan to areas expected to be affected by the storm. That's so they can triple bill and everyone can get rich at your expense while you're suffering because you're not prepared. Additional crews will be ready Monday as the shit hits the fan. We'll continue to monitor the weather closely and we'll adjust our plans as forecasts Warrant adjusting because they're definitely downplaying this, Appalachian Power said in a statement. Duke Energy and Electric Power Company, headquartered in Charlotte, which is responsible for most of the toxic waste in the area, estimated that half a million customers will lose surface across the Carolinas. That's 500,000 of y'all, which I hope you have backups and lots of snacks ups. And that's boom. Did I tell you Winter Storm Diego, American Airlines canceled 1,000 flights for tomorrow before they cancel 5,000 more? Boom! White screen. I love it. Oh, it's a boom. Yeah, that's in honor of Popo because volcanoes, they's exploding. I showed it to you, remember? Let's look at it. In case you forgot, we are six minutes in. And this did happen 18 hours ago. And as of now, almost four or 500 people in the world know about it. Boom! Heads up. Look at the map they're using. Do you see how few winter storm watches and warnings are on this? I want you to take note. This is from eight hours ago. Eight hours ago, they're showing a map with that many winter storm watches and warnings. And we're going to get to the reality in just a moment. Rain and snow accumulations expected. Here is the map. <laughs> Southern U.S. braces for snow and flooding. A significant winter storm is threatening to deliver flash flooding, which it already did to Texas, and historic snowfall amounts through the southeast and mid-Atlantic this weekend, while people's guards are down because it's starting as rain, which is insane, because I'm telling you it's starting as rain, and it's going to change to ice and back to snow and back to rain. Insane in some areas. Some areas will be very scary as storms to pound the northwest U.S. with rain and mountain snow into next week, including the Olympics and the Cascades. We warned of it, and it's coming. Oh, snap! It exploded! Let's reload it. We got one more article. Latest forecast for Charlotte. Eight inches of snow, power outages, treacherous travel. Now, this is funny because we noted this yesterday and it's yo-yoing back up. Charlotte could see eight inches of snow. It went from six to nine and now it's back to eight and back to six. They could see eight inches of snow according to the most recent forecast and nearly a fifth of an inch of ice. Now, <laughs> here's where it gets funny. The latest National Weather Service estimates bounced from 9 inches Friday to 6 inches Saturday, back to 8 inches on Saturday afternoon. They could be up to 28 inches now while I'm bloviating. But I don't have time to check the models, so we're going to check them in a minute because they're right there. So calm down. The models will be checked. The ads will be blocked. And storms will pound northwest U.S. with rain, mountain snow into next week. After a relatively quiet start to December, storms will start to roll through the northwest, which is the best. We love Snow it. can make a mess of roads. Driving in it requires a different way of thinking about handling the wheel and pedals. It's best to stay at home and avoid driving in the snow. But if you must, here are some tips to help. Drive slowly. Everything takes longer on snow-covered roads. Accelerating, Ow! stopping, turning, nothing happens as quickly this? as on dry pavement. Accelerate and decelerate slowly. Applying the gas slowly to accelerate is the best way to regain traction and avoiding skids. Don't try to get moving in a hurry and take time to slow down for a stoplight. Don't power up hills. Applying extra gas on snow-covered roads just starts your wheels spinning. Try to get a little momentum going before you reach the hill, and let that inertia carry you to the top. As you reach the crest of the hill, reduce your speed and proceed downhill as slowly as possible. 
For more safety and preparedness tips and tools, visit AccuWeather.com slash ready. And that is a boom. Be prepared, not scared. After a relatively quiet start to December, storms will roll through the northwest United States on a regular basis through the upcoming week. Portland, Oregon, and Seattle typically receive 1.35 inches of rain during the first seven days of December, but only picked up 4 and 10% of this amount, respectively. As the storm pattern sets up over the Pacific Northwest over the next week, these cities will quickly catch up on a December to remember, as I predicted, record snows in the Olympics, Cascades. And we're kite sailing, folks. Unsettled Sunday through Sunday night, heavy snows moving to the mountains with an icy mix of shite through the desert lands. Yeah, Rattlesnake Ridge much? There can be travel problems over I-90 Snoqualmie Pass, where several inches of snow can create slick conditions for motorists. The eastern slope of the Cascades and parts of the Columbia River Basin could be at risk for a bit of ice on Sunday night that could also create slick spots on elevated surfaces, which we like to refer to as smurfaces. Early next week, it's going to be freaking cold in the northeast. They'll need a laser beam. <coughs> The latest National Weather Service estimates bounce from 9 to 6, back to 8. It's great. They don't know what they're doing, but we're going to show you the GFS model as it gets updated before your very eyes. And we're also going to show you the icon. So, starting just moments from now, 3, 6, boom, heavy snows moving into that western North Carolina area. Snows in BC moving into the Cascades, as well as Oregon and Northern Cali. Light, extremely light snow in the northeast, lake effect. And this is moving into your Monday. The snow will continue into Tuesday into South Carolina according to the GFS model. Watch it creep down into South Carolina. So let's go to the global icon which only goes out 120 hours. So it's a more detailed account of the actual snowfall just for the next four days. Typically more accurate as nailing totals. And in the icon model, it's showing the heaviest snow swath of 16 plus happening in Western Virginia. So heads up, Western Virginia. It might not be Western North Carolina that actually gets the brunt of this. Initially, yes, but the heaviest totals on the icon are showing up in Western Virginia, all the way through D.C. Snow on this model. So multiple scenarios both look bleak in the sense of people being stuck in large swaths of this area where they won't be able to get to you for a while because we're talking multi of multiple feet, over a foot in a huge area. It's going to take a long time to move that snow. Go back to the GFS model for comparison. Much south, much more south the track, much heavier in western North Carolina. And the reality will be a combination of the two with variations. Which, doesn't, which will lead to much frustration. Southern storm producing heavy rain and tent snow this weekend. <clears throat> We've just updated the map, and I showed you the pathetic map the mainstream is using. The new map has five states, 185 counties in winter storm warning. Not watch. Ten states in watch. 500 counties in watch. 200 plus counties in winter storm warning in five states. In the south, south of the Mason-Dixon. This is all a southern event before Christmas. Which, by the way, is unprecedented because it would only be five ever in recorded history like this. So they're obfuscating from the truth when saying, it's just not unprecedented. I mean, it happened before one other time. One, one other time we remember this happened. A storm system tracking quickly across the Gulf Coast will produce a number of hazards this weekend. Heavy to excessive rain across the south and southeast. By tomorrow morning, it will be a beast. 
Winter weather with snow and ice from Texas to Oklahoma and the southern Appalachians with significant accumulations for the Piedmont, North Carolina, southern Virginia, all focused on the western area of your state. That is your fate. NOAA just releasing its official update for the month. And it's in November to remember maximum temperature percentiles, record lows, record coldest across 33% of the state, 80% of the state in record cold. And you want me to believe in global warming? Mean temperature percentiles, record coldest in blue. Who told you? I did. Minimum temperature percentile records in blue, light blue. In powder blue. That's cold, folks. County minimum temperature ranks records in blue. 83% of counties in the U.S. Record near average, below average, or much below average. <laughs> Ow! Would you look at these maps? Stop watching Netflix, you prick. I can, he never wants to come out here. Paris is burning over climate change taxes because the faxes are in. New CMIP6 data suggests an extended period of solar decline extending through 2100. The old model, CMIP5, is in teal, which was unreal. Driven by the IPCC model and the global warming narrative, shifted last year to a more realistic reality where we will be repeating Centennial Minimum and Dalton Minimum effects now through your 2020, which isn't funny because UAH satellite-based temperature of the global lower atmosphere confirms our predictions as temperature drops 0.8 degrees since February 2016. Green line suggested drop-off as the data moves in that direction. We will be below baseline for most of 2019. Heading into 2020, we could be below Dalton minimum numbers, which would have to be below 0.6C here. So we're looking for an exceptional drop off in temperature, which would be a total of almost two degrees C. 1.5 in just the next eight months total since February, 2016. And Paris is burning over the climate change taxes, which is a good thing. Macron can't be found. The Citizens Unite, his approval rating is 18%, which means you've got to go. If we live in a de democratic world, um, I'm pretty sure you know about the Civil War. And yeah, and prior to that, the Declaration of Independence. These are common, common uprisings and they're associated with the sun the last time we were in grand solar minimum during the Dalton minimum the declaration of independence was signed are you picking it up the city of lights Paris has been illuminated in recent days by cars set alight by thousands of protesting yellow vests largely middle class people who earn their living by driving her commute to get to work because their IRA is scheduled a 25% cent gallon increase in gas taxes and they won't have it. So they're wreaking havoc. As they should, unjust laws are made to be broken. And in the United States, the right to bear arms and the re freedom of speech is specifically written into our Constitution. So that we can redress grievances against the elites that rule us. And the whole purpose of the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution is to secure the rights of the sovereign citizens of the country in which they dwell. And, by, and before your very lives, all of your sovereign rights have been stripped. You're a free-range slave. 
You're allowed to move about, quote unquote, with free will. But you are watched under a microscope. You need your papers to go from border to border. To board a plane, you must remove your belt and shoes so they can shoot a laser beam up your arse. There is no privacy. And the empire model is coming, crumbling to an end, forced by the sun, cosmic rays, and the universe itself. Everything is run in cycles. And these cycles are repeating. <coughs> and they will be glorious because they make change. Climate change, not so much. <laughs> Not so much in the positive direction, but the COP24 fails to adopt the key scientific report. Breaking headlines everywhere. COP24 attempts to incorporate the key scientific study released by the IPCC is denied. The IPCC report, which is the most fraudulent group of 97% non-consensus garbage ever produced for the third decade, wasting billions of dollars, has finally been denied. Thanks to the U.S., Saudi Arabia, Russia, Kuwait, and others objecting to the word welcoming in the report. And that is a glorious moment for all of us. Run for the hills! Volcanoes, they'd be exploding. Boom! IPCC report costing billions denied by the world. Amen. We are winning because the facts are in. The earth is cooling and there is no fooling. Rapid temperature decline in the lower global atmosphere since 2016. And it's continuing to go down in a profound way as Arctic ice builds and they back off on that whole nonsense of us losing Arctic ice. They're hiding like mice in the walls. Seismic update. No quakes of note. Moderate uptick in the ring of fire. heavy amount of uh, activity in southern Alaska. <coughs> Earthquake risk map coming out, pinpointing the world's most vulnerable areas. Come check it out. You don't want to be moving to these areas. So clearly, if you're looking for some data, come check out the map. Because if you're moving to South America, you won't be, want to be moving into a yellow zone or especially a red zone. Always be looking for the white zones. So if you're interested, come check out the earthquake risk map, Care of Nature, which will be linked below. As we reported on the opening, Mexican volcano Popo erupting twice in one hour. The hour of power. Popo erupted twice in the space of an hour, sending columns of ash two kilometers into the air. And we'll look at Sky News footage because it's just fun to look at volcanoes erupting. Please, show it to us. Boom! They have some, not quite as good as YT, but this is some good footage. Because you get to see that plume. The plume of doom. Just doesn't want to do it for us. Here we can come look at some more footage from another source. Sinapred, Volcano YT. Securidad. This is a less fluid version, but cool enough. I love the stars scrolling past so you can see the passage of time in our cosmos. And then boom! Anyone camping on that flank was really bumming. Yes, let's watch it.
That is a lot of lava. From the Isle of Fava. They make beans there. <clears throat> Come over and give Volcano YT your support. Give him a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Also check out David Schlotthauer for some of the best unbiased weather coverage on YouTube. I'm going to link David below. I do not have his channel pulled up right now, but he did shout us out tonight. He loves the Oppenheimer Ranch Project. We help him get off the ground. We gave him a bunch of our subs. We directed people over there because of all of the weathermen out there, and I don't consider myself a weatherman, so you people commenting that say this is the best weather channel, you're a little confused about what we're teaching here. We're showing you the weather, but that's not what we're here for. And if you don't get it yet, that's okay. Some are sicker than others. But David Schlotthauer isn't a weatherman. He's a meteorologist. Go check him out. Worldwide Volcano News Update. Santo Huito. Volcano Fuego Popo. Tucono Reventador. Manam has a volcanic ash advisory. So we have multiple volcanoes. Five new volcanoes in the last 24 hours added to the list. Acting up. And these volcanoes, they exploded, which is why we're talking about them. And now this happens as cosmic rays enter the Earth. They heat the silicious magma along that crystallization zone down in the transition zone near the mantle. A lot of people think that the crust is all at 10 kilometers or something. I get so many nonsense emails. We really don't know where the crust ends. It averages between 30 and 80 kilometers on the continent and 10 to 20 in the ocean, the crust. And this is because it's sitting on the uh, transition zone where seismic waves shift. So it's like a plastic zone where crystallization is different and it changes due to high temperature and pressure. It is now believed that the muons excite the crystals in this zone, forming instantaneous magma-sheeted dikes. Now, these thin sheets of molten rock, which are electrically instantaneously produced, have a higher buoyancy, and they would rush along the fissure to the surface. And most volcanoes have vents at the surface, and the volcanoes are the expression of these sheeted dikes at depth, which emerge at the surface. Depending on the viscosity, you get the different types of volcanoes. So viscosity of the molten rock beneath determines the type of volcano above. Whew, that is a huge... That would cost you like 8000 at any university to learn all that, and it would take you multiple semesters. And they would be very boring. More than 20 million people are on the path of the major winter storm in the south which is going to kick them right in the mouth. Heads up, rallying south to Atlanta. That is the line that will be define the records. <clears throat> Snow may be beautiful, but it can also be treacherous. And I urge North Carolinians to take this storm seriously and get ready for it now, says Diamond and Roy Cooper, governor, in a statement. Especially the western half of the state. Now, Brevard is not a county, but it is responsible for a very famous movie that we all love. So those of you that are correcting me, you've been blocked because I don't have time for that. And Black Mountain is the first exit as you travel east out of Asheville where there's a state park. Everyone knows that. So if you don't live in Asheville, when I say Black Mountain, I'm sorry. You don't know what I'm talking about. But everyone in Asheville knows Black Mountain. Just like Boone. And they're all going to be buried in a hurry. Eastern Tennessee, Georgia, and the Carolinas. Hickory, 18.29 inches expected. Boone, 20.29. Asheville, 17.9. Greenville, 12.2. Charlotte, 11. Raleigh, 8. Roanoke, almost 5. And these are models. So some of these will be more, some will be less. But many will be in distress. So preparedness is the best. No need to bicker. 
Stop complaining. Stop being a racist. Stop complaining about migration. You're going to be a migrant soon enough. And you're going to meet those people that you were bitching about and hopefully they'll eat you. That's how much of an asshole you are. NASA asteroid warning. 360 foot wide monster asteroid on Earth approach tomorrow. An enormous asteroid large enough to wipe out an entire city will zip past the planet. And this fear monger rag called the Sunday Express wants to scare the shite out of you. Simply from their headline. But if you read the article, it says it's never going to hit us. <laughs> Which is the irony. The giant space rock tracked by NASA, officially labeled Asteroid 2018 VX4, is expected to fly by the planet Sunday, December 9th. Tomorrow. While the blizzard is unleashing hell in western North Carolina and Virginia, the rock may very well hit the Atlantic, causing a tsunami that will wipe everyone out and they won't even have to shovel. Won't that be great? No more shoveling because you just get washed with the wave. Just washes it. The odds of this are 0.0000001%. So be prepared. On average, hundreds of tons of space debris relentlessly slam into Earth every single day. Most of it is dust, and we can't even feel it. Most of it goes through your head, which is why you don't understand what I'm talking about. Whew. Are you prepared? I doubt it. Run for the hills! That way you won't have to pay your bills. Make a shack. Change your name. That's amazing. But it should be doing something. Let's reload that. Volcanoes, they are exploding. And that's why we're here. Booming. This information. NASA's collecting space dirt from an asteroid that could kill us all. So while some rags fearmonger about rocks that will barely miss us, asteroid is collecting Tonight, dust from one. There's an asteroid hurtling towards Earth, Earth and there's a chance it could hit our planet and destroy everything we hold dear. Do you A, send a ragtag team of misfits to blow the thing up in space, or B, send an asteroid sample return mission on a seven-year expedition to collect space rock particles all in the name of scientific research? This is NASA, so they're doing the science thing. I'm Claire Riley. Welcome to Watch This Space. From the CNET studios in Sydney, this is your weekly guide to everything on Earth you need to know about space. And tonight, OSIRIS-REx, NASA's seven-year mission to play tag with an asteroid for five seconds. The Origins Spectral Interpretation Resource Identification Security Regolith Explorer, yikes NASA, is out to answer questions that have plagued mankind for ages. Where did we come from and what is our destiny? Man, this is going to be one smart asteroid. OSIRIS-REx is NASA's mission to learn about the origins of our solar system by picking up clues on an asteroid, or as NASA calls them, the leftover debris from the solar system formation process. Bullshit! Hold on, hold on. This is a mission to dig out leftovers? We literally just landed inside on Mars and the Parker Solar Probe is about to touch the sun and we're rooting around in the old casserole pots of the solar system? I mean, NASA even calls this asteroid a non-planet. It's kind of like, she doesn't even go here, am I right? Well, no, this mission is actually kind of a big deal. Our solar system was formed 4.5 billion years ago when a giant cloud of gas and dust collapsed in on itself. Imagine it like a big cake mix. Here's where you lose me. This whole video was made under the pretext of how cosmology is teached today in modern classrooms. That comets and asteroids are leftover debris from the initial forming of our solar system. All data in the last two decades that has come in from all space missions goes against all these theories. In fact, we've landed on a comet that was consisted that consisted of no ice. It was, in fact, what appeared to be terrestrial rock based on this geologist's impression. And asteroids, we now know, with the electric universe theory and the Thunderbolts project are from cosmic catastrophe remnants in our past. Probably when 
the thunderbolts of the gods were discharging between Venus as a flyby comet some 3,000 years ago and earlier. And when the plasma sheath got ripped from our planet, exposing the bright light of the sun during creation some 12,900 years ago, during the cosmic catastrophe causing the Great Flood. But yet they still hold on to these dogmatic ideas in mainstream science. And NASA thinks they're going to land on Bennu and take a sample of this baby. And it's going to be hold clues to the ancient universe. If you look at this rock, it has large boulders on it that look like they fell there thousands of years ago. This is a recent piece of rock blown from the surface of Mars or the Earth or another planet broken up in our recent past and the reason it's still flying around us is because it's recently been blown apart otherwise it would have been consumed by the sun or other planets over the billions of years that they claim it's been out there 101955 Bennu is new It's recent. It's from our recent catastrophic past because we live in a catastrophic universe filled with periodic and episodic catastrophe, which is why we've been struggling as a humanity to remember our past. We didn't start to learn to farm 5,000, 8,000, not even 11,000 years ago. But 12,900 years ago, all evidence of civilization was once again removed from the surface of our planet and very few made it. And those that made it didn't remember a thing. They moved back in all the remnants of the major megalithic cities and they made up new stories. The elites shifted those stories so they could keep you enslaved now as free range slaves that think you're free and the battle continues for the truth and we're not going to get any truth from this mission because the truth is if NASA cared about this hitting the planet they would blow it up or they would change course of this asteroid instead they're going to suck up some dust and send you more lies are you prepared? it's coming Best way to prepare is my Patriot Supply. Support the channel, support your friends. Ammo cans now half off. If you don't know how to get into preparedness, try the ammo can. It comes with the case that holds one week of food inside. You can store it in the basement and forget about it until you need it. 39 bucks. Buy three of these and it's free shipping. And you have all of your gifts for all of your loved ones taken care of. And they're going to open up the Patriot one week emergency food ammo can and say, what the f are you a conspiracy theorist nut? You can freak. We love you. Thanks for your Christmas gift. And then when the grid fries and they eat through their pantry, they're going to remember the Patriot pantry ammo can. And they're going to feel like idiots. <laughs> there are many other awesome products here that you can buy friends, family, and loved ones the Alexa Pro water filter the cheapest price ever you can take pond water run it through here and it's better than the water you get that they call spring water in the store at a buck a bottle 300 bucks gets you the equivalent of 3,000 bottles of water that's 10 cents a bottle and you're still going to go to the store and pay $1.89 for a bottle, even though I told you you're an idiot. When you could have an Alexa Pro and just run your tap water through it. Boom! No fluoride. No heavy metals. No biologicals. <laughs> and you're still not filtering your water. And you wonder why you don't understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> It'll slowly decalcify on its own, not. Times are changing. The power is within you to change with it. Be the change. I am Virgo, Source, Earth. 
You must master fire, water, and earth in order to survive. Air has been polluted, so move somewhere in the country. These four elements are the keys. Start there if you don't know where to start. Then go over to Patriot Supply and get a one-week supply for under 40 bucks. Proper prior planning prevents piss-poor performance in the Grand Solar Minimum. There's no need to run for the hills. Scared. Volcanoes, they's exploding. We're showing you. Be prepared. Seek knowledge from within. All answers lie within. Your mind will quiet if you quiet yourself. 30 minutes a day sitting alone and the answers will come. I want to thank the visitors that came to the ranch today. Had a wonderful day meeting with like-minded people. They were looking at property in the area. Many are rising to the occasion. The support is never ending. The subscribers are increasing exponentially. The information is flowing. Share this with people you love. Do not try to change the minds of the people that are brainwashed. We need them to be consumed. They are the decoy. Be safe. We love you.